Hi people, how are you? I hope you're doing great. I just received this uh, coloring book and I have to say that I have like conflicting emotions about it. When I saw some of the promo images, I thought it was very good quality and I love it. And today that I have received it at home, I feel like, I don't know whether I like it or not, because I feel like some of the images are quite cheap or like unfinished, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to show it to you so you can have your very own opinion. Uh, this is the front cover, obviously. That's the back cover, you can see there's a lot of information about um, the series of the Shadow Hunters wall. And uh, the price it's like $17. And here we go. Uh, there are some incredible images. Um, there are some drawings that I like. I don't know, it feels like in finish or something. Uh, every drawing it's, uh, has this bit of text on the side that uh, puts, out, puts, puts us in, in place uh, where the thing is going on. And you can see they're very nice drawings, but you will see what I mean in a bit. Because at the beginning, uh, every drawing is very nice, but then we began to find this kind of faces that for me are all the same. It's very hard to identify who the characters are because they don't have like defining features. And then we find things like this. Uh, we can see it in the cover too. I, I, I find like uh, this is like unfinished. I mean, seriously, that's that grills and everything. It's like, I don't know, a bit of more work could have been put into it. I don't know. And then we have some nice drawings. It's like we have a, a bit of everything. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I was expecting something other from this book, and 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 you know it has been a bit of a letdown for me. It's not that I don't like it. I do, but I thought that it will be different. It will be like I don't know more elaborate or something. Because drawings like this, when you have big landscapes and things, it's like. I don't know, something's missing, maybe it's me, I don't know. It depends on, on which kind of uh, drawing books, coloring books are you used to. Because now that I'm saying it again, I don't see it as badly as I did in the first time. Although there are things like that, big heads or um, things. They are smallish things, and probably I'm more of a perfectionist than I should be. I don't know. Overall, it's nice. It's, as I said, it's just I was expecting something more, maybe, I don't know. Because the only thing I have to say is uh, sometimes I don't know who the characters are. Uh, I guess this is Magnus, okay, but uh, then the other has to be Alec, but uh, it's like they are very similar to me. See, Jay's is very similar to Alec, maybe. I know it's Jay's, okay, but it's because. Again, okay, that's Isabel, okay, thank you. Because I have the little text in here that cruise me. Maybe that's why the text is in here. But those two, who are they? But if you follow the text, it's Simon and Jay's. And it's like I said, uh, I will have loved to have more defining, defining features on, on, on the characters so I, I could know who they are without having to read on the side, because those two who are they? Okay, uh, that's a woman, the one on the left, and it's like, oh, seriously, she's a woman. Uh, following this sex, it's Maya, so yeah, it's a woman. So you know what I mean? It's like some drawings you don't even know what's going on, because uh, you really can identify the characters. Maybe it's me I'm saying it, but yeah, I'm probably shutting up now. The uh, thing is that we have here the little bits of the story going on, so we can be more or less put into place. Now that we know that this dude is not a dude, it's a woman, we know it's Maya, because we have seen her in previous drawings, but I don't know. As I say, I'm confused by this book, because 
when I saw the first images, I thought it was going to be better than it is. That doesn't mean it's bad, it means, as I previously said, that it's not exactly what I was expecting, but... I don't know, I guess it's okay. Maybe if I had the chance to flip through it um, instead of buying it online, I wouldn't have bought it. Because I don't find myself quite liking this one. It's one of those cases of hit and miss, um, just I missed. <laughs> it's going to be fun coloring it. I have to, to be in a positive framework, okay. And here we have uh, more information about uh, Cassandra Claire Brooks, as you can see. And more info on the back. So yeah, if you're a hardcore fan of Cassandra Clare, Shadowhunters, maybe this is a must-have. And plus, if you love coloring, of course. But if not, uh, I don't know. In my opinion, uh, I will have passed in this one probably. And there's a couple of very nice images, but uh, overall, it's like uh, all the faces are the same face, and it takes a bit of effort to know which character is it. So yeah, I found very helping that they decide to put this text here to put us in situation. Drawings like this, you know, that's gaze and and a hair, but uh, the drawings in which you sometimes have doubts and don't know uh, who the characters are because they're very manga-like. And uh, yeah, overall, it seems like a fun back to color if uh, you're not so picky as probably I am. So thank you for seeing. Bye.